Hey guys, Richman here. I want to talk to you today about your Fire Stick and Fire TV settings and keeping your streaming private and secure on the internet. If you're serious about your internet security and privacy, you want to turn off these Fire Stick settings now. So grab your Fire Stick remote and let's get to it. But first, if you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button below, smash that like button, and share this video with a friend. Now, let's get started. Okay, we're back. Now, a lot of people are still buying new Fire Sticks, and there's many people that already own Fire Sticks. And a lot of those people don't even know about these settings. So we're gonna get into it right now. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you're on the home screen. Press that home button. We're already there as you can see, but press the home button and we're gonna scroll over to where it says settings. Then we're gonna scroll over until you find preferences. These are the first ones you wanna go through. Click on preferences. And if you've never set up parental controls on your Fire Stick, here's where you want to do it. Put in that PIN code. When you click on that, it's going to ask you to set up a PIN code. Once you turn it on, you'll see it asks you to set up a PIN. I'm not going to do that because I don't have any small children in the house. So let's back out of that. Now on privacy settings, these are important guys. Device usage data. You'll see here it says use personal data collected by the operating system of this device for marketing and product improvement purposes. You wanna turn that off, guys. We're not gonna share any information uh, because there's a lot of services running in the background that you're not even aware of. So next we go down to collect app usage data. Allow App Store to collect information on the frequency and duration of use of downloaded apps. Definitely turn this off, guys. You know, that's where, you know, Amazon can see what you're running, when you're running it, how often you're running it. Just turn it off. Interest-based ads. If you opt out, uh, apps will be instructed not to use the advertising ID to build profiles for advertising. I don't want this on. It's up to you if you want it on, but I, I would rather Amazon. Amazon has enough information on me. So you see, I've already got collect app usage data off, internet-based ads off. Data monitoring, monitor data consumption on your Amazon Fire TV. I just have it off. There, there's no reason I need to monitor anything, any data or anything on my Fire Stick. My Fire Stick is lean and mean and, and yours is gonna be too once you finish uh, changing these settings up. Notification settings. When we go in here, go into the app notifications. You can see all these notifications are on. I want to turn them all off. I don't want any notifications from any app showing up on my Fire Stick. So just go through here, simply click on them and turn them all off. Just like this. Just one click, it's going to turn them off. I have a lot to go through. I won't put you through that. So let's back out of here. Featured content. Go in here, allow video, audio, allow video autoplay allow audio autoplay. That's when you're on your home screen of your Fire Stick and you know up the top where it'll just start playing one of their featured movies or TV shows. I don't need that streaming up top. It takes up bandwidth. It slows down your Fire Stick. I'm going to turn these off. Now we're going to go back to screen and we're going to go to the next one which is my Fire TV. It may say my device on yours says my Fire TV on most Amazon devices. Click on that. Now go into developer options. Here's where you want to make sure that you have ADB debugging turned on and apps from unknown sources turned on. That's going to allow you to sideload uh, apps that aren't supported in the Amazon store onto your device. So make sure these are on. Now go back a screen. Go back another screen, come back to here, and we're going to go over to where it says applications. Okay, and applications, scroll down the game circle. Now, I don't know how many of you play games on your Fire Stick or Fire TV. I don't. I have my own gaming systems for that or my PC. 
So I don't want anything sinking from here. I'm going to turn this off. Now we're going to go up to Amazon Photos. This is another thing I don't do on my Fire Stick or Fire TV. I have my iPhone, I have my iPad, I have my computer. If I want to view photos, I'm not going to do it on my Fire Stick or Fire TV. Again, it just takes a bandwidth to make sure your Fire Stick runs slower. I'm going to turn this off. So access Amazon Photos, disable. As far as allowing guest connections, when you allow this, guests may request to connect to your TV using a supported device to cast photos and videos to your screen. I also don't need this, guys, but I want to watch stuff from any of my friends that are over. They just hand me their phone or whatever, or, or airdrop them to me or, you know, or email me photos. So we're going to turn that off also. Just one click, guys. Then go back. Now we're going to go into the App Store. Now here you'll see in-app purchases is turned on. If you have small kids in the house and uh, you don't want them buying anything without your knowledge, just turn this off. Notifications, display notifications related to App Store. I'm going to turn that off also. Now back out of that. And if you go down where it says manage installed applications, Click on that and there's another app that a lot of people use when they're side loading apps onto their Fire Stick or Fire TV. It's called Downloader. You probably have it on yours if you've been watching my videos or other videos on YouTube. If you do, open that up, click on Launch Application, and when it's open, click on the left side of your button here over to the side here you see where it says Files, click on that. And these are all the files that are being saved on my Fire TV, and you probably have a bunch on yours. You want to go through here and just delete the, these. They're APKs mostly. Uh, all of mine are, are different APKs that I, I just don't need anymore because the apps are already installed on my Fire Stick. So it tells you right here, highlight the file and press the select button, open or install, or press menu to delete. So the menu button is that hamburger button, the three lines. We're going to click on that and it's going to ask you if you want to delete it. Just click delete and go through all the rest of them. If you have a lot, it's going to save you space, which your Fire Stick doesn't have that much space. So you want to keep it as free as possible. This is going to speed up your Fire Stick and, uh, and help you when you're downloading APKs in the future. So the last thing I want to talk to you about is getting a VPN for your system. If you're streaming a lot of stuff on your Fire Stick or Fire TV or on your computer, you want to do it with a VPN turned on. There's a lot of them out there. I recommend IP Vanish. It is an affiliate, so I'm leaving a link in the uh, description below. If you want to support the Rich Man Knows Tech channel, just go into the description, click on the link, and sign yourself up for an IP Vanish account. It's well worth it, and it's going to protect you, and your IP address is going to keep you private and keep you safe while you're streaming. So that's it for now, guys. This is Rich Man. I'll see you next time.